Uh, yeah. Oh, I hope we're going in the right direction. I have absolutely no signal out here. If we end up in the wrong place, I won't know where to go. <laughs> uh, I really wish I'd downloaded offline maps to use. I just didn't think about it. We really take the internet for granted, huh? I'm always forgetting that sometimes it simply isn't available. <sighs> nope, I don't think it's going to get any better. We're going further and further from civilization right now. The further we get, the less likely it is that anybody will have bothered to build a phone antenna. Ah, uh, whatever. It's probably for the best. Good to disconnect sometimes. Plus, it'll be kind of nice to practice finding my way around somewhere without having Google Maps to rely on. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> it's not going to be as hard as I thought. There's a sign for the entrance to the trail right there. I hope there's somewhere to park. Oh, yeah, okay. I guess we're the only people doing this trail today. At least, the only people who drove here. I wonder if any more will turn up. We're not that early. Uh, no, I think it's a good thing. If I'm out in nature like this, I'd much rather not have my reverie interrupted by other people. Um, not including you, of course. You can interrupt me as much as you like. Unless I'm listening really hard to birdsong to try to identify the bird or something. Then I reserve the right to shush you. Just a warning, so you don't think I'm being rude. <laughs> okay, let's get our stuff out the back. All right. Um, mm, tent, bedroll, we stove, water, food, uh, Kendall mint cake, binoculars, spare socks, waterproofs, map, compass, mm hmm, mm hmm, and, uh, yeah, I think that's, um, yeah. Okay. I definitely have everything I need in my bag. <laughs> Uh, it's not too heavy, actually. Uh, you all set? <laughs> Lovely. Let's go. <sighs> oh, good. It's starting to level out. <sighs> Man, that incline was... A little rough, huh? <sighs> that was fine at first. I just didn't expect it to go on for quite so long. Punishing. Ah, but that's all right. Just glad it's leveling out now. <sighs> hmm. I think it might be approaching time to find somewhere to camp. Sun's going down. Plus, I'm kind of hungry. I want an actual meal. Let's keep going for another few minutes. I reckon before long it will be completely level and it's easier to camp on flat ground. Um, how have you found it today? This is your first time hiking all day like this, right? <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad, huh? As long as you pace yourself. At the start, it's tempting to really stride out and get your blood pumping, but... Nah. You want to set an even pace at the start and stick to it. Don't tire yourself out too quickly. Oh, shit. Hold up. Stop a second. Woodpecker. Where is it? Do you see? I love watching woodpeckers do their thing. 
They can be hard to spot, though. They're really flighty, so they'll often abandon their post and fly away well before you spotted them. Hmm. This one's a little more brave, evidently. Ugh, oh, where is it? Have a good look around. I swear I heard the noise from somewhere over there, but it could have been bouncing off something else. Oh, really? Where? Ah, uh, I don't... Yeah, let me look along your arm. Okay, where? Oh, yeah. Huh. Nice. Well spotted. Oh, their markings blend in so well with the texture of the bark. Really tricky to spot. I could probably count the number of times I've actually seen a woodpecker pecking a tree like that on one hand. Oh, fuck yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, God, that's so cool. Oh, man. I love watching nature at work like that. You know, when an animal is just doing its thing, we're so lucky it still hasn't noticed us. Or perhaps it's decided it doesn't give a shit. Either way. Ah, oh, so cool. Uh, I'm gonna get my camera out, get a picture. I don't photograph too much when I'm on a walk. I try to just enjoy it in the moment, but... Oh, this is too good a shot to miss. I'm gonna be real slow and careful. Okay. Good thing I brought my zoom lens. I want to go right out to 300 mil for this. <sighs> oh, I hope the camera noise doesn't scare it off. It's pretty quiet. I think we'll be okay. Ah, uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, that came out perfect. Fuck yeah. I've never managed to get a decent shot of one before. Hmm. I'm going to put it in action mode and see if I can get a sequence of it actually pecking. That'd be neat. Okay. Just got to wait for it to do its thing now. Ah, oh. oh, damn. The sustained camera sound must have spooked in. That's a shame. But, hey... These shots are sick. I got it pecking, then glancing round at the camera, then flying off. Oh, that's actually really cool. I'm so glad it's in focus. <laughs> ah, yeah, wonderful. What a way to end the day. I hadn't really got many shots I was super proud of until now. Uh, should we find somewhere to set up camp then? Yeah, okay. Nice and level now. I reckon if we come off the path just here, we'll find somewhere sensible. Oh, yeah, look. This is pretty nice here. Some tree cover, but a nice, large, flat area for the tents. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get them out. Get set up. <sighs> And what was that? <laughs> no, you're joking. You haven't forgotten your tent. No way. Come on, stop fucking around. Get it out. We want to get it all set up before we lose all the natural light. It's harder to do all this in the dark. Uh, nah. No, no. It'll be in there. You're just not looking properly. Come on. Let me have a look. Oh, no. No, no, no. <sighs> no. Uh, oh, no, hey, look, yeah, yeah, here it is. Uh, oh, no. Waterproof trousers. Oh, fuck. You're right. 
It's not in here. Did we ever pack it? Did it fall out in the back of the car, or is it sitting on the floor at your house? We must surely have never put it in the pack. We would have seen it if it was in the back of the car. Nah, I guess it doesn't make any difference. It wouldn't be sensible to walk all the way back to the car to get it. Even going faster than you should, it would take way too long. Wouldn't get there before dark. Oh god, I don't know what to do. Um, we could build you a shelter? From, I don't know, branches and stuff? No, I don't know how to do that. And I don't have any tools, like, I don't have a saw for chopping off branches or anything. But I, there have to be enough just lying around on the ground, and... I'm sure it's not too hard to figure out how to build one, right? <sighs> hmm. No. I guess having a bunch of huge branches collapse on you in the middle of the night wouldn't be ideal. You could just sleep under the stars? Might be quite nice. Although, it's due to rain. Pretty heavily, too. It'll definitely get through the forest canopy. <sighs> so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess you could... I mean, as a last resort... Share my tent? <laughs> well, I didn't say that before because it's tiny. It's like a one-person thing. We might just be able to squeeze in together, but we will really be squeezing. <laughs> like, we may even have to overlap a bit. I don't really know how it would work. I guess if we both laid on our sides? Yeah, it could maybe work. I mean, it's not very tall either, but we might fit. <sighs> well, okay. I guess that's our plan. It might not be the most comfy night's sleep, and we'll probably get a little wet, but, um, yeah, okay. I don't mind sharing if you don't. <laughs> Let's get that stove going, it's getting chilly. I want something warm inside me. Yes, I meant food. Ah, <sighs> good. Oh, that was good. I really needed something like that after today's walking. It's been tougher going than I thought it'd be. Oh no, I'm fine. Not that much tougher than expected. Just a bit hillier. Lots of going down, then back up. Honestly, it's more of a mental thing than a physical one, I think. Climbing up a slope, only to go right back down, then having to go back up again, then back down. It's a little demoralizing. That's okay. All part of the journey. And, uh... Yeah, we're still on schedule. Haven't fallen behind or anything. So we must have made a good pace. I'm definitely ready to go to sleep now. Though, let's get that tent set up. Um, no, you can stay there. It's a one-person job. In fact, it's barely even that. Uh, it's a pop-up thing, I think. <laughs> Been a long time since I used it. <laughs> um, I think if I just pull this toggle thing here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think I'd prefer that over having to spend half an hour carefully feeding poles through loops and figuring out why it won't stay upright. This does the job, even if it's a bit small. Just need to chuck my sleeping bag in there and it'll be ready to go. Uh, yours too, I guess. Hmm. There we go. Actually looks kind of comfy with two sleeping bags in there. Very cosy. 
I'm sure we'll think differently when we're crammed in there side by side like sardines in a can. Shall we find out? Hmm. Let's just about run to put our packs inside the tent flap here. <sighs> All right. Um, after you. How is it in there? Comfy? Oh yeah? What, you think it'll be more comfy when I join you? Well, we'll see about that. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> <sighs> yeah, this isn't so bad, actually. Oh, we'll see how it is when we want to lie down and sleep, but right now, yeah, not bad. Uh, kind of weird to be this close to you. <laughs> not how things normally are. We don't really have a choice, though. It's... <laughs> God, the timing. I was going to say it's about to start raining. Well, that forecast was spot on. So... Uh, yeah, now it's raining. We're going to have to stay close. If you touch the wall of the tent, the water will come through. I don't really know why that is. It doesn't make much sense to me. Like, why should touching the inside of a tent cause water from the outside to come in? I'd get it if touching the outside made it come through, because, I don't know, I guess you'd be pushing the water through the fabric, something like that, but... Touching the inside? Why does... Oh. Capillary action. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Um, it's cool that you know that. That's... Hmm. Say it again. Say capillary action to me again. <laughs> that did something to me. Man. I love hearing people saying long words like that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I'm just being silly. But, like, come on, there's something about big scientific words like that just being dropped into normal conversation. Something kind of sexy. Um, no, I didn't say you are sexy. Just that dropping a phrase like capillary action in the middle of a normal conversation is. Although, it was you that did that, so I guess in that moment, yeah, you were kind of sexy. <laughs> I'd say that I hope you don't mind me saying that, but... I'm pretty sure you wanted me to say it, didn't you? You were fishing for it. <laughs> well, there you go. It's out there now. <laughs> so, <sighs> what are you going to do about it? I hope... I didn't expect that. Um, were you just putting me in my place? Teaching me not to tease you, was that it? Or do you actually want something more? Because, I mean, I'm on board for it, if that's what you want. <laughs> yeah, well, um... We don't really have room to do much, but I'd like to get even closer to you, so that's okay. Come here. <sighs> oh man. Okay. This really isn't what I expected to come from this little camping trip. <laughs> I 
I mean, I didn't think I'd share a tent with you, let alone be kissed by you. Do you want to, uh, do that again? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm.